So thankfully, the past month in North Carolina, we've had our aunt and uncle's house to store all of our junk in while we considered living in this area. So, lo and behold, we decided that we're gonna move to Denver, back to Denver, Colorado that is. And this is the start of it. It is 8, 10 in the morning. And I'm just kind of cleaning this out. There are dried mango bags just everywhere. Random junk that we're gonna have to move just to make our lives tidier here. What's this? Huh, yeah. A dried mango bag. What's this? Oh, another date bag. Oh yeah, it's a nightmare, people. So this is what we're looking at. Got a bunch of drum hardware that's going in the car. Symbols. Music stuff, tools, sewing machine, all types of stuff. This is like shoes and clothing and water bottles and things that we're going to use. This is miscellaneous. This is the majority of our clothing. Another big one here. We've got our cook bag, our miscellaneous right behind us in the back seat basket. This, which is new, looks like Jackie claimed another clothes bag. And then various different appliances, stuff that we need quick. Don't know where that's going yet. <clears throat> My favorite is the electronics bin. It's kind of spilled over into a also quick access type bin. But this is all the electronics. Boom. Besides laptops and stuff. Jackie just cleaned a whole bunch of stuff. Got our food out. Our clothes bags. The ones that we use frequently. And the last of the last here. Couch is based. Or <laughs> couch. <laughs> Not couch, I meant trunk. Trunk is basically full. And we still got plenty of space in the wheel well. Just wait, it's gonna get much worse. So we've got the bag in position. Not tied down at all, just ready to be filled. That shoe and lots of stuff bag is in there on its side. Now we're getting there. So we just got all types of junk. All types of junk. Shoe bag, other bag, other bag, other bag. And we're moseying around here. Yeah. So, there seems to be less stuff in the basket this time. Because this may actually shut. Oh yeah. There's a gusset that makes it bigger, but it also makes like a big gutter for rain to get caught in. And on the way here, every time it rained, we got a little bit of water in. So the recipe this time is just not put as much stuff in there. I just slapped the first bike on there. It's not strapped down, but the positioning is key. Yeah, but the back of the car doesn't look that bad like what, when you got here. It looked worse. I bet once we start driving and hitting bumps, it'll <laughs> sag. Um, so this is the apparatus. Also, we put more in the trunk this time. Yeah, yeah less up on the roof. So maybe it's less way down this way. So yeah. maybe... Look familiar? You're making all this up. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. So that's cool. We're in our first Airbnb, everybody. And it's pretty fun. 
It's actually a place that... Did they say there was an upstairs? They said there was an upstairs, yeah. See, so that's cool. There's us, there's another couple, and then there's another apartment the in here. The couple next door is from the Netherlands. Super nice people. Um, we're eating dates. I spilled most of them on the ground. So this is what's left. I've eaten a bunch. Jackie has eaten zero. That's correct. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that. Uh, we had some rice left over with a little bit of avocado. We ate that. There's the dates that I spilled on the ground. We're going to eat this in a minute. Another one of these guys. And we had some of these. Go ahead, say what you want. It could be raining. And what really takes the cake is the hot apple cider. And this is just, this is just the Trader Joe's 100% honey crisp. Yeah, that's what that's all about right there. Oh, seasonal. Quick glimpse. But Jackie and I were used to not really having a place, so all we need is a bed. And we can generally just hang out in the room and have fun and eat plants. Isn't that right? That is absolutely right. 